Combat 7, Skies Unknown. Let's go. Now I have already done the tutorial mission, so let's get into it. As of 1 p.m. today, the Kingdom of Erugia has declared war on the Ocean Federation. As soon as the news broke out, enemy aircraft began bombing Ocean territory, causing widespread destruction. The Air Defense Force has released a statement, saying this violent attack was carried out by drones. They speculate the drones were secretly transported to Osea in shipping containers and launched remotely. The Secretary of the Navy has stated that the enemy was targeting naval ports across the country. According to the Secretary, all of the nation's aircraft carriers, including one still under construction, sustained severe damage in the attacks. We have yet to hear back from the department as to the fate of Ocean carriers currently at sea. Hold on, I've just received breaking news. The International Space Elevator, which is being built in southern Yuzha, has been seized by the Erusian Army. Reports say former President Harling was touring the site at the time, but his current whereabouts are unknown. Our sources in government tell us it was Harling's policies regarding the space elevator that caused economic frictions in the area, and which ultimately led to this war. Located near Erusia, on the continent of Yuzha, the space elevator has been under construction for some time now. The Executive Office of the Ocean Federation has declared a national state of emergency. They have ordered all its armed forces, including Yuzhin peacekeepers, to mobilize and make the necessary preparations to launch an immediate counterattack. Ladies and gentlemen, our country is officially at war. Stay tuned for further updates. Breaking news from ENN. Osea launched an attack on the capital today, striking Farbanti from their aircraft carrier, the Kestrel II. After a brutal battle, the Erujian Air Force successfully repelled them. During the air raid, the Ocean Air Force fired missiles at the city and managed to shoot down a number of Erujian fighters. Some of the disabled planes then crashed into residential areas. All right, things are heating up. Screwed. Twenty years ago, the Earth got slammed by an asteroid. Yuja was on the wrong side of the planet and got hit. Hard. Refugees swarmed the Erujian Republic, the biggest country on the continent, plunging it into chaos. They were desperate and started a war, one they had no hope of winning. That's the war my dad fought and died in. The biggest nations from two continents went head to head, and the so-called righteous Oceans struck the deal that ended it. They fancied themselves the only nation that could bring peace and stability to the world. They even tried saving the Yuzhans, still suffering from the disaster. That's how a space elevator, stretching way up into the sky, ended up being built in Yuzha, paid for by the Oceans. President Harling said he did it out of compassion for his fellow humans. But to the folks in Erusia, it looked like Osea was moving in to take over. Erusia went from being a republic, back to being a kingdom. When they started this new war, they managed to get the drop on everyone. The second the declaration hit the news, Erusian forces took control of the space elevator without spilling a single drop of blood. President Harling was touring the elevator when it happened and disappeared. Then, while that was going on, the Erusian ships that were docked all around Osea released a swarm of drone fighters they had hidden on board in containers. No one thought they were capable of doing what they did that day. With pinpoint accuracy, they managed to take out everything that was military. And not a single civilian was hurt in the process. Osea pissed lots of people off with their huge military presence around the world. Erugia didn't have the same reach, but they could hit their targets faster and cleaner. And when all this was going down, I just so happened to be in my flying drag racer. In case you were wondering, yeah, I survived. I crashed in a bombed out Ocean Air Force base, then got arrested for breaking wartime aviation laws or some crap. The world went from being at peace to being at war, all in the blink of an eye.
I was tried, found guilty, and stuffed into a cargo ship. For company, I had some court-martialed soldiers. And remember those mothballed planes I told you about before? They were loaded on the ship, too. We headed off down south for several days, and then swung east. That's how I got here. I was thousands of kilometers from Arugia, on the opposite side of the Yuzian continent. For a port, it was dull as hell. It had three rusty patrol boats. And the base? The fences were topped with razor wire, the tower had a searchlight and machine guns, and a truck with a gun turret was parked in front of the gate. Its gun was aimed at the yard. This was a prison. This place looked like a full-on base, but half the tanker trucks were just big balloons, and the runways weren't even paved, just painted on the dirt. The whole place was just one big fat lie. The only reason I was here is because they knew I'd restored a supersonic plane. They wanted me to make something out of the mothballed planes they brought, that they could park on the fake runway. Can you believe that shit? So. I tried to escape. <laughs> they found out and set the dogs on me. Okay, after that lengthy cutscene, maybe we need some action. I do like the story, though. It's very Arusha interesting. Has made a Sounds a lot like America. The Ocean Federation, <laughs> all countries on the Yuzhen continent stationing the IUN peacekeeping force, that we are now at war. Right after the declaration was made, surprise attacks began around the continent that have inflicted major damage to our armed forces. Forces aligned with Arusha are currently appearing throughout Yuzhen. The combination of these forces has overwhelmed the majority of the continent, and they are now encroaching on us in the east. Additionally, the multinational space elevator has been seized by the Erosion military. After the previous war, the space follower. elevator became Thank both you, a symbol sir. of peace and a valuable asset in the fight against growing energy concerns. Whoever has control of it will have enormous influence over the entire continent. We cannot turn a blind eye to this critical situation. The Fort Gray's Air Base Squadron has been entered into the order of battle to reclaim the elevator as an advance element. First, you will attack all hostiles coming in the east of Schofield Plateau to stop any interference with the Allied ground troops. The enemy has deployed several vehicles equipped with anti-air radar along the roads. You are to destroy them. They should not pose much of a threat. However, there is a high likelihood that the attack will draw more enemy air support. If that happens, fight them off swiftly and establish air superiority. Alright, I got the gist. Ready for action, sir. Yep, yep, take out the radar vehicles, okay? It's like an encyclopedia, whatever. Close. Enhances aircraft acceleration. Yeah, that's good. Mage squadron sorting ASAP. All right, let's go.
target is on rails, but there's still military vehicles and anti-air weaponry. Destroy the target. But HQ has made it clear that no harm should come to civilians and no damage is to be done to public facilities. But, uh, any aircraft shot down could land in civilian territory. No point arguing. That's how war is these days. Do you have visual on the anti-air radar vehicles? They should be close. Yep. Yes, we do. Got one. Back around for another rape, strafe and run. Coming back around. I had to reload. All right. Trying to hit these ground targets is not easy. Oh shit. Nice hit. Trying to stay low so I don't get hit with their missile. Climbing back up into the clouds, coming around. Breaking hard left. Ah, I miss. Again, miss. Shit. Why is my stuff not locking on? Attack missed. Ah. Obviously not. You're Trying to right. I'll make it quick. Breaking, can't get away from this rock. Missile. Missile. Shit. 
There we go, lock on. Two All right. Got it. Got it. Reach two. Missile launch. Breaking. Take it away from the Nice. Trigger, there's one more to go. Box two. APCs have lowered a high. Got it. Missile. That was the last radar vehicle. Great work. Enemy missile chasing me. Uh, oh, took a hit. Scepter shows no sign of retreating. Take it out. Continue with the mission. Crush as many as you can. Enemy transports are taxiing. That's a miss. H2, you're targeted. Missile. 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 No, they're not linked to the radar vehicle. Launch manually. Man, it's getting hot and heavy here. I'm about to pull back. I'm not set up for a run yet. Find your manuals in a language we can understand. Going up into the clouds for some coverage, coming back down. I'm on him. Box two. Got him. One back up, another run. Toast. I got him on my ass. Coming back for him. I'm on top. Was that a hit? I don't know. I'm behind him now. Multiple targets. Multiple targets. Locked on. Nail him. Oh, I am hurt bad. Multiple bogeys on my ass. Up in the clouds. God. Where's my backup? Got him, got him, got him, stay with him. Boom! Yeah! I'm out of special ammo, I'm almost out of my regular rockets. Shit. Gotta take these birds out, man. I can't do the I can't deal with the ground targets because of the He's right on my ass, man. All right, you motherfucker, you want to play? I'm on this one's tail. Spinning around. Going to box two. Break, break. The enemy has a lock on me. On my target's tail. All transports have been destroyed. 
Shit. Four targets remaining. I'm getting some distance between these assholes. Coming back around. Stay with him, stay with him. Ah! Fire, fire! Got him! Going down. Ground targets. Ground targets neutralized. Going back into the clouds for cover. Where is my fucking backup? Why are you guys not helping me out? Set myself up for a run. Nope, no good. Crash. Splash Bandit. We got choppers up here. That's what's going on. Come on. Oh, fuck me. Set myself up ground target. Toast. Got him. Spinning around. Looks like we got two targets left. Ah, uh, I'm right above him. Got him. Done. Ugh. Coming out of the clouds. Boom. Booyah. Can't see shit. I maneuver behind the enemy. Firing at my fucking ally because I can't see the damn blue. Ah, I gotta level it out. Done. All right. Oh God, I'm out of ammo. What am I supposed to do? How am I supposed to resupply? They're firing drones at us. Great. What happened? Status report. Multiple bogies on radar. They're close. Wait. They're being launched. 
You're clear to engage. They're probably hostile. I've got two missiles left. Judging by the way they look and move, they gotta be drones. Well spotted, clown. No doubt about it, we're dealing with EVs. But that doesn't change a thing. Just think of them as somewhat clever decoys. Take them all down. These drones have great agility. All aircraft. You know what high G turns are, right? Use them. High G turns. HQ, this is column one. Bandits confirmed as UAVs. Repeat, bandits are drones. Go All right, well, on, apparently I have <laughs> infinite ammo. And get out. It doesn't matter. You say the war could change in an instant. Get over it. Yeah, I just wish they'd give us a bit more warning. Target. Shit. Ah! Going up after him, hot pursuit. Done. Golem Squadron, surround him. Enemy UAV confirmed destroyed. Hell yeah. Golem Squadron, you're not gonna let Mage get all the glory, are ya? Three enemies to go. Ah! Am I stopped? Zero. Couldn't keep a lock on him. Ammunition zero. Ammunition zero. We're up in the clouds together. I don't want to stall out. Got eyes on him. He's mine. Missile. Missile. Ah. Uh. Damn it. Spinning around. He's mine. He's done. Yes. Locked on. <laughs> Don't try Broke it. More. Making a hard turn. Should come up behind him. Fox two. Fox two. Ah. On your tail. Missile. Missile. Go down. He just buzzed me. Oh, there he is. Got him. Done. One to go. Let's get through this without any casualties. Got him. Too far out. He was here. Shit. Behind one. This motherfucker can dr fly. He's using the clouds to his advantage. I can't get a lock on him. Clouds are screwing up the accuracy. Yeah, sure are.
I can't get a beat on him. Column three, Fox two. Got him. Missiles depleted. I'm 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 staying with him. Ah. He's a tricky bastard. Don't ice up in there. Ugh. I'm right on his ass. Ah, I'm stalling out. Fucker can fly, man. Breaking the clouds. Ah! Come on, that's got to get him, right? Wow! So he, sh he keeps breaking the lock on. There he goes. There he goes. Nice. The skies are clear. Nice work, everyone. Mission complete. RTB. No casualties. We couldn't have done any better. Wow. Wow. That was pretty tough. Maybe the bandits we took down caused civilian casualties. No point arguing. That's how war is these days. You shoot, someone gets killed. The guys in charge take care of the rest. Exactly. Current target is on rails, but there's still military vehicles and anti-air weaponry. That was cool. Destroy